Amen. What do you call a vicar on a motorbike? Rev. <laughs> the old ones really aren't the best, are they? I've got a few more, but they probably shouldn't be said in church. I hope I haven't started any tongues wagging. Nobody likes a wagging tongue. I think you should just tell me what's going on, Charles. And why you're here. Are you replacing me? Oh, no, no, no. Look, I know you haven't responded to the phone calls from the bishop, but you didn't receive the letters either. Letters? <laughs> I'll do the same. Let them pile up with everything else. Well, this time of year, I just thought it was the usual Christmas stuff. I've been struggling a bit lately. Which explains why I had to fill in for the wedding recently. Oh, that was you. I hadn't, hadn't realised. Well, 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 I think. Haven't read any bad reviews on Minister Graham. <laughs> so, these letters, what was in them? The long and short of it, our parish is emerging into one, and that rather annoying vicar from not too far away has appeared at your doorstep. I'm sorry, Harriet. I know this must be quite a lot for you to take in. It was a shock for me, too. It appears our bishop received a bit of a nudge and that speeded things along, and here I am sooner than expected. A nudge from who? <laughs> you know the bishops as well as I do. They like to keep their Bibles close to their chest. But I promise you, I'm not here to step on any toes. But I do arrive bearing gifts. I just thought we could toast our new partnership. Yeah. Well, this is you. I'm just down there. I know it's early days, but I've got a really good feeling about this place. There's good days and bad days. Like anywhere. I just hope I fit in. Well, I think you've already made quite a good impression at the cafe. <laughs> Hopefully half a decent one. In my experience, People struggle with new. Honestly, I don't think anyone's going to struggle with you. In fact, I don't think it'll be long before I'm demoted to the boring one. Oh, I doubt there's a straight man in our act. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Between you and me, I hear you're far from boring. And today, I'm thinking you're spot on. <laughs> well, I hope you don't believe everything you hear. Nah. I like to form my own opinions like a good Christian. And then judge accordingly. And then form grudges like a good Christian. Right, I'll see you at church tomorrow. You will. But not too bright and early, I'm afraid. Me and the Marnies have never been the best of friends. <laughs> Interesting given the job. Night, Charles. Night. 